This is important for us as people to understand in order for us to change our lives. Fear is programmed into us. It's programmed into our nervous system in order for our like survival instincts to keep us safe from danger, to keep us safe from pain. And in that sense, fear is not a bad thing. I feel that fear becomes a problem when it's preventing you from things that are not inherently dangerous. When it's preventing you from things that you would enjoy. So, the question is, why do you have fear for the things that aren't dangerous? That's the part of it where I'm feeling it's not natural. Whenever you're fearing things that aren't dangerous. Because naturally we have the survival instincts. And if you are a person that is fearing speaking in front of people because you don't know what types of things they're going to think about you or you're afraid of speaking in front of a crowd because you're afraid of embarrassment or you're just fearing that period you have stage fright or if you're a person that maybe doesn't want to show your talents because you think that it's not good enough um i don't really think that that type of thing is real like not in the sense of invalidating your feelings and saying that how you feel isn't valid that is not what i'm saying but the human body has survival instincts and that Fear is in your nervous system in order to keep you safe from things that would be dangerous to you or things that would yeah, cause you to die. And so when you think about things like I named before, those are not things that will end your life. And whenever you are allowing fear to prevent you from doing things that you would enjoy that that's how you know that it's something that you need to address and there's those are things that you need to address and you can do that by journaling to try and figure out where exactly that fear is stemming from or where that fear is actually coming from, where it started to begin with, because it's not a survival instinct in the sense of this will keep me um, safe from danger. Whenever it comes to overcoming a fear, you you don't necessarily not have to be afraid of something like you you don't have to completely not be afraid in order to take those steps to do whatever it is you want to do doing it scared is sometimes a part of the the way to overcome it even though that sounds weird but that's something that i have realized that there's some things that you may still be nervous about or anxious about or fearful about where sometimes you just have to just do it you know not even trying to um you know say that quote but but that's serious though you really just should do it even though you are scared, do it scared. Do it while you still have that fear inside. 
don't let it don't yeah don't let it prevent you from moving forward you can still have courage and also have fear inside in order to conquer fear it's not necessarily about you having absolutely no fear inside if you don't have the feeling of fear if you're not capable of feeling fear then you don't have the capacity for courage you've made it this far to the end of the video and it's greatly appreciated i am now going to reveal what i've been working on throughout the whole video